Hello guys, Matt Helfrey back with Webmagic SEO and today we are giving away a free tool that is called the GMB Link Hack Bot. Um, it sounds fancy, it's not too complicated. Basically what it does is it creates manipulated Google search and map strings uh, so that you can increase proximity to boost rankings in the cities or the areas that uh, you're kind of lacking. So let me show you an example of a GMB listing that is not mine. This is just one I found that obviously needs some help, but you can see that this listing is a uh, Brinker animal removal. And I'm just gonna click on this to show you guys the actual listing. So here it is, Brinker animal removal. It is in Dallas, Texas, and this is the geo grid for it. So you can see it's ranking decent right in the area where you would expect it to rank you know the immediate vicinity of the listing itself it is massively struggling um, on the corners here and on the west and east ends anywhere on the uh, outside it's not ranking for so um you know first thing realistically what i would do is obviously i would work around the uh, immediate vicinity and make sure i'm in the map pack everywhere around the immediate vicinity of the listing since it's not mine, I'm not going to worry about too much. And just for the demonstration purpose only, we're going to assume that this is all green here and we're lacking, we're lacking rankings in Carrollton, Texas. Okay. So what we want to do is boost our rankings over here. And how do we do that? Well, we're going to use this GMB link hat tool and we're going to associate our listing with the city of Carrollton. Very, very simple. What I'm going to do is, oh, let's go to the uh, back to the tool here. We need to grab the maps URL of the actual listing itself. So we just go to the share link. We're going to copy the link. We're going to go back to the tool. We're going to paste that. And the city is Carrollton. Okay. Even though the actual listing is in Texas, we are going to uh, trick Google into thinking that it belongs with the city of Carrollton. The keywords, I believe, are pest, pest removal. These are the keywords we're working on, but you can work on any keywords you want here. And then we just simply create the KP hack link, and KP just stands for knowledge panel. And I'll show you exactly what the uh, URL string looks like when it's done and uh, kind of all the magic that goes into it. Let's give it a minute. Oh, it can't find the city, of course. Did I spell that right? C A R R O L L. T O N. All right, let's try that again. Spelling is important. And there it is. I'm going to copy that and paste that in here. And you can see this search string here. It's a Google search string. It's got the knowledge panel associated with your business. And then it's got the knowledge panel associated with the city. So it's kind of uh, relating the two. And then you got the query equals pest removal. And so when you push the enter button, you see the knowledge panel and nothing's broken up here. It's still relating the city with the actual uh, Google listing. So both of those are bringing up the knowledge panel. And so what you can do with this link now is you can use it in your CTR bots. You can use it in your press releases. You can embed it in your cloud stacks, whatever you want to do. Um, the more you do it with the links, probably going to help push juice towards this. And when you do it with CTR, you want to be ever so careful. You do not want to overdo it. You know, one visit a day to, uh, to the actual link is fine. Um, basically, you're just associating, you're just kind of triggering uh, Google rank brain. And so the more that this, URL pops up in a browser, the more they're going to associate that and then make the uh, relevancy, the association with Carrollton and the
the uh, Brinker animal removal as being together, and then you'll eventually see higher rankings over here. Now the other side, the other link that we're going to create is a hacked maps embed link. In this one, you can use latitude and longitude. So uh, going again with Carol or Carrollton, let's zoom in on Carrollton a little bit. Ooh, okay. So this Home Depot looks good. Let's see that we want to drop our listing. We'll go to Maps here. Right on Home Depot parking lot, okay? So a cool thing about Google Maps is you can see up here, it actually gives you the uh, uh, latitude and longitude coordinates of the Home Depot here. And we're just going to use those. Another thing you can do is, I think you can right click. Yeah, and you can just copy the the latitude logic coordinates there. We'll just use this for this video. And I'm going to enter that as the latitude. And this as the longitude. So again, we are just making the association with Carrollton pest removal and these latitude and longitude points. Two different, uh, two different URL strings, but we're still making the association. We want to uh, increase rankings and boost our proximity to the west of the actual listing because that's where our, oops, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm gonna click on this, but that's where our, uh, we're having problems ranking. So we're just going to you know, use this as an example that we want to try to increase and boost proximity to the west. So now this is doing the same thing here. It's making the association instead of the city this time, it's using the latitude longitude points with the keywords, with the knowledge pan or with the uh, maps CID this time. Let me show you here. So we've got, here's our latitude longitude. Um, this is a, a map embed and the CID that's associated with our business is right here. And here's our query pest removal. And so this difference is this is a maps link and the other one was just a Google search link, knowledge panel link. All right, so you can see the middle of the map here is right where that Home Depot is. And now we've got a link that um, brings together and associates all of those nice little things. And again, same thing with this link. You can use it in um, you know, your CTR bots. You can use it in your cloud um, stacks, you can use it in press releases, wherever you're linking with your GMB stuff, you can use this link. Now, um, another cool thing is, you, you know, you don't have to use pest removal all the time. You can use whatever keywords you're going after. If you, let's say that you use this for a month and you start seeing, you know, your uh, rankings increase towards Carrollton and, and um, the, you know, where we had it in the Home Depot parking lot, or you start seeing that you're going to pop up in the map pack, you don't need to work on that anymore. Well, you can use the same area. You can use different keywords. You can, um, you know, if we're having problems in the south. Yeah, so we're obviously not ranking down here. So the next city we could use is North Dallas or Richardson or Plano. You know, you can push the proximity to wherever you want. I would just suggest doing one at a time. Boost it this way, then boost it this way, and then this way. You can do whatever you want. Um, let me show you something else here. Let's just say, just for example's sake, let's uh, let's go to Miami. All right, now we're just, just for the heck of it, we're gonna, we're gonna associate the Brinker Animal Recovery, which is in Dallas, to somewhere in a Miami, Florida with completely different keywords, okay? Let's say we wanna set that GMB right here, uh, the Family Dollar Store, all right? Cool, so let's grab and the latitude from the URL. 
We're going to stick that in there. Let's grab the longitude. Stick that in there. And then let's uh, let's change the keywords all together and let's call this I don't know. Junk removal. You know, it's not not associated with pest removal or anything to do with the actual listing that we're using. So let's create that. It's going to delete the last one. It's going to grab CID link, put it together in the maps URL embed link, and then it's going to tell us it's all done. When it's done, it's right there. Let's open up a new tab. Now watch what happens. All right, so we are in Miami. You can see this is definitely not Dallas. We've got the ocean over here. And look at our keywords. Junk removal, except for it's our listing brinker animal removal. So, you know, you can get crazy with this if you want. Um, it's a cool little tool. Anyway, we are giving this away for free. All you need to do is just sign up, click the link below, and uh, um, they'll send you the down link, download link, and you can do it there. But another thing I want to show you just how easy it is to put this in the uh, CTR bot. So I'm going to fire up the CTR bot. And we're going to send traffic to this. So I'm going to pause this to get this. Uh, Get this uh, operating and uh, show you what we can do with the CTR bot. All right, so I've got the uh, CTR bot version 4.3 fired up here and ready to go. Um, I did close the GMB link hack bot, so I had to go back and recreate those URLs because I did not copy them down. My mistake. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to set up a project for a direct visit uh, visiting these manipulated Google strings. So we're just going to go to uh, direct. And the website URL or direct link is exactly the URLs that we created with the link hack bot. I copy that first one and paste it there. Now it's asking for the direct visit link to click. So it's going to run a CTR um, on the on this link, and then you need to tell the bot what link you want it to click. So in order to do that, we got to actually put that in the browser again. And here's the website URL. Okay, so this is the exact link we want it to click. So we're just going to copy this link address. Make sure that's not a Google link. It is not. You don't need to worry about uh, exact match because it's just for the websites and this is a direct link. How many searches a day? One. Don't do more than one for this stuff. We're just making the association with Google to kind of trigger uh, Google's rank brain. Do not overdo it. You do not need to. Search terms file. We don't need to use. Obviously, it's just a direct visit. We're not doing a search. GPS spoofing manual. GPS coordinates file. So we're going to make sure that the search is coming from a Dow the Dallas area. So I'm just going to use the national database that I have saved already. We're going to find Dallas. And we're going to open that up. And just that means that it's going to randomly select GPS coordinates from in the vicinity of Dallas. GP, GMB exact business name, don't need to worry about. That's just for the GMB CTR uh, type. Google.com, don't need to worry about. 5G location preference. So if you're running 5Gs, you would come over here, you would select Dallas, and you click it. We're just going to disable it because I'm going to use the 4Gs because those are cool too. And then we're going to run it. And let's just go here and we'll name this link hack bot demo CSV. Done. And then we're going to grab that other URL string that we created. And we're going to run a uh, create a project with this. I think I need that open. So the only thing we're changing here is the actual website URL. It's still a direct visit, the same link. Um, I believe, I hope it's the same link in the maps. I'm guessing it is. One search a day, same thing, come the same area. And we're going to run that. Use the same file. So 
it is link hack bot demo CSV. You want to replace it? Yes. So that's just depending to the file. So now that file is going to have two projects in there. Now watch how easy this is. Go on to the uh, main CTR tab. We're going to choose that file we just created. We're going to open it. And we're going to run it. All right. So now we just let this sit and it's going to run those projects. It's going to do one search a day for as long as you leave that running. So I'll just show you what this does here. All right, browser's opening up. This is a mobile visit. It's using 4G proxies that are built into the bot. Don't need to worry about adding your own or anything. Now you can see the ads up top, but it'll scroll down to the link. And you can see the URL up top is exactly how the link hack bot created it with the uh, knowledge panel for the city make an association with Brinker Animal Removal. Now it should click on the website. And there it is. That's it. Usually it'll sit on this for a while before it closes it, deletes the profile, creates a new, pro, new random profile with either Android Mobile, Firefox, or Chrome. And it'll do the CTR on the next URL we put in there. So I'll pause it at, and resume. We get to know. Eh. Didn't need to. It's fast. And you can see the, uh, the log here. Mobile direct visit to the link that we put in there you can use any uh you can use backlinks you know any link that you have and it'll perform the same ctr with uh, any links you have there and then it'll log it and you can see the date the time that it uh, performed the uh, ctr action which also saves that to file too so it just deleted the profile it's creating a new profile different proxy, different location in the Dallas area. And this is a Chrome browser. Loading in the maps URL. Boom. And that's it guys. That's all that that uh, that requires. And you know you can leave this bot run for the next month, two months, till you start see rankings and then you just uh, go find some different create some different uh, manipulated URLs and target a different area. So this bot is free right now. Um, I don't know that I'll charge for it, but it's possible. Either way, it's free. And if you want to get your hands on it, all you got to do is click the link below. Um, if you're new to this channel, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I've got more, I got some more uh, stuff coming, coming in the future that I think you guys will like too. So uh, thanks again for watching this. Take care, guys.